In this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace fields in a Word template with the data from Excel. I have uh, worked in a num number of companies and they have lists of customers with your address, um, postal code, possibly their account number and other details all in a list and sometimes there's like 10,000 um, in the list. Now, you'd like to send them all over a letter saying something and this is a method that you can do for a long list. So I'm on the developer tab. I've gone to my macros here. I'm going to go to replace text and I'm going to run. And so you see in my data, I have Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. And so now I have, uh, Donald Duck, and here's a letter to Donald Duck, and then we have um, the letter to Mickey Mouse, and here's all the fields populated, um, populated in here. And so now let me show you a few things on this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open a Word document, and we're going to create a template. And so where the name goes, I put name with square brackets or double square brackets on it, the address with double square brackets, the city, the postal code, double square brackets, and then I've got the name again because I want the greeting to have dear or whatever the name is. Okay, now when you save, um, when you save uh, a document, you're going to save it as a template, which is D-O-T as opposed to um, so we'll go here and we'll go save as template. As soon as you put the extension um, DOTX, which is the word template, it would like it would like to save it in Microsoft templates. And that um, that might be handy, but I find it difficult to find it in a hurry. And so what I usually do is I find some place in my documents to save it. And you can save a template no matter uh, whether it's a template or not, you can save it anywhere you want on your computer. Canceling here because I've already got it saved. Now let's go back to the Word file. Even though you have the security settings set up for your Excel, you have to set up the security settings on your Word. Now to put the Word tab in, uh, you need to have the develop or the developer tab. You need to just right click on just below or just on the uh, menu bar here and then you're going to get up customize ribbon and then just ensure that you have the checkbox before the developer tab now you say okay now i'm going to go to the developer tab and i'm going to macro security um, you need to enable this name for it to run you need to put in um disable all macros except for digitally signing macros which mine are but you can enable all macros either way. One of these two will allow you to run it. Okay, so now let's go back to the Excel file. Here is my, my text or my code for the application. The other thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to Tools. You're on the VBA window when you go into your developer, and you're going to go to References. And you are going to go uh, make sure you have Microsoft Word 16 Object Library. And that, that you need to have this or this won't run as well. And so we'll say OK. So now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to F8 through and explain as I'm going what's happening. So um, I've got uh, Word, WAP is Word Application, WDoc is Word Document, Customer Number, Path, a String, and R being the row number, and it's starting at 2. And I'm doing the whole thing where you, as long as there's, there's list, a list of values, it will keep looping. And so it's going to open the Word app, and now it's going to make it visible. Now, this is where you need to know where your... Um, your template is because you need to have the path here for the template. So you copy the path and then quotation marks and then you comma and then read only colon equals true. And this will allow you not to change the template so you can keep using it. 
Now for each of these, I start with the first one and I say, we're looking for, remember when we put name with square brackets, double square brackets around it, so it's looking for that. And then it's going to look, it's going to replace that with whatever I have in row one, the first column value, and then it's going to go end of. Now the end of means that we're finished finding that value so that we don't try to replace the address into the name. And so then we go on to the next one. And then we go on to the next one and you keep going down. Now we have the name in there twice, so you have to put the name entry in there twice. So I'm just showing you what my uh, what my uh, my word template's looking like as we go through it. So let's just keep f ing through this this uh, this code and let's get to the bottom of it. And then I specify uh, the customer name is the Mickey Mouse. Um, I'm using that as the, the name of my file, and I'm putting it in a path to, for a folder that I know where I can find all of these and save as path and customer. So let's go F8 through this. Okay, so now if I open up my invoices, which is there is my Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse saved for me. I will, of course, include all the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.